So this is an article of August 7, 2013, the very same day as Mr. Sean Ross of the Pharaoh show uh, met this very aggressive Swiss in the swimming pool. So this is the background story, what's really going on and why they acted like that against Mr. Ross. You see, they have new apartheid laws in Swiss swimming pools that if you're a foreigner, an immigrant, you're going to have problems. The Swiss have a lot of silent laws and um, um, they even do it out in the open now. So here you can read the whole story. Well, there's much more going on in the German speaking, Swiss German speaking newspapers. So just punch pause and you can read it. So this is the real reason of the um, the Swiss uh, getting angry at Mr. Sean Ross. This is the background story of what's, what's going on at the moment in Switzerland. They have a new set of racist laws and against people who are from foreign countries who cannot go into swimming public swimming pools and uh, this is what happening at the moment these are apartheid rules in swiss swimming pools you see that's it swimming pools in swiss swimming pools you are prohibited if you're an immigrant, prohibited to come into a Swiss swimming pool, even if your wife and children are in there. So this is what's going on. So here's a newspaper article from August 8th, that was yesterday, 2013. Oprah Winfrey, she went to Zurich and just read what happened. So they, the Swiss invented the Ku Klux Klan. They gave ten, at least 10,000 Red Cross passports to real war criminals and Nazis after the Second World War. And they murdered a lot of immigrants here through torture. So anyone who wants to know more, just see my videos and watch the O2T torture and watch the Zurich files. So this is the Swiss swimming pool affair. And this is why... They almost attacked Mr. Sean Ross. Thank God he didn't stay to watch uh, for the police to come. Because that wouldn't be good. They just lie something together and put you in prison. This is what they do. And they all work together. These Swiss, they hide it. They, um, the police, the Justice Department. They're all a bunch of Nazis and a bunch of filthy liars they are. They're absolutely, they're as cold as reptilians. They only think about making money and more money and more money, and this is a uh, this is a perfect dictatorship. They've been doing it for thousands of years, and not only against other coloured people of other races. Before, they did it against the Europeans and the European race. They terrorised Europe with their mercenaries, with their Templars, as this country was founded by the Templars. Watch the Pharaoh show. So this is going on in Switzerland. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is... You don't know what's going on here. Well, thank you, dear Oprah Winfrey, um, for letting the world know, because they listen to you. Nobody will listen to me. I'm just... I'm just a stupid immigrant. Yeah. Thank you, Oprah. Code O2T is the deprivation of oxygen to a near life threatening degree, which is the easiest to regulate in order to create slow death lift. So I'll just punch pause if you want to read it. There you go. Just punch pause. This is what they're doing in Switzerland. The home of the Templars, Octagon.
I just got a package from the US from a great YouTuber. Look how it was opened. Look, they just cut into it and they put the tape on it here. Look, you see the Swiss cross here. Uh, I've got absolutely no privacy. They can, these Swiss Nazis, they control everything. My whole life is being controlled here. I cannot go out alone anymore. Look, package. They just open it and look into it. Oh, that's Switzerland. Look, yeah. Swiss cross on it. They retaped it. It's a, it's a uh, it's a complete dictatorship here. A Nazi, a Swiss Nazi octagon dictatorship. They just open up my packages. Usually, it doesn't even get to me. They just steal it. Well, I tell you, the Swiss are very big thieves. They stole a lot of things of us. And, uh, well, they probably stole some things out of here as well. Well, that's Switzerland, folks. So there was a, this was a great YouTuber who sent me this. Thanks, mate. It's really nice to see that there are some people who keep the promises. There's not, many, not very many of them. So this is, this is a Swiss train. It says in 24 languages here, uh, welcome. Uh, but in small letters it certainly says somewhere but only for the rich people not for asylum seekers and immigrants they are not welcome so this is typically the Swiss attitude they show it in the train like for the tourists oh you're welcome you're welcome you know if you come with a backpack with no money and your skin color doesn't match the Swiss idea then uh, yeah, you're certainly not welcome. And this they don't write it down. You know, they hide it. As they hide everything in Switzerland. Switzerland, they're handing out 10,000 Red Cross passports to Nazi war criminals. This is probably from a concentration camp, this one here. The deal is of death. 